Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Today, we are going to continue our previous lesson about science process skill. We focus on science process skills number one, observing. Observing is mainly divided into two types of observations. Those are qualitative observation and quantitative observation. What is qualitative observation? It is a process of observing that use only sensory, while quantitative observation is a process of observing using instruments. These are parameters involved when you carry out an observation. Size, shape, color, number, condition. Condition is quite general. For example, condition of health, uh, freshness, condition of plants, whether it's uh, grow well or wilted, dry, type. Height, weight, texture. Texture means, uh, for example, when you touch, um, you can identify whether it's soft, hard, uh, smooth texture, fine material, coarse materials, smell, sound, temperature, and many others. Okay, look at this example. Actually, this is from Science Year 2 textbook, page 2. Siapa yang ada adik tu boleh tengoklah buku teks yang Year 2 ni ya. Okay. Look at this area. In this situation, uh, children helping their mother in the kitchen to prepare dough to make bread. Okay. Initially, the size of dough is like this. Okay, after an hour, uh, it's already changing. So, can you please identify which sensory involved in this observation? And which parameter being observed? Yes, sight sensory involved in this observation process penglihatan ya penglihatan yang terlibat which parameter being observed are, are this boy observing the color of the dough is he uh, observing the type of the dough is he observing the shape of the dough yes he is observing the size of the dough. Tadi uh, sebelum ni teacher ada sebutkan dalam parameter tu antaranya ialah size. So, macam mana kita nak menyatakan pula ayat observe, observation, uh, observation ni? Maksudnya, uh, bila bila kita buat observation, kita ada ayat pernyataan dia. Okay, macam mana bentuk ayat dia? The size of dough is increased. Nampak kat sini tak? Ini ialah parameter. Ini ialah object that we observe. Dalam uh, observation statement, dia mesti ada parameter and also the object. Look at the next situation. Okay, kali ini ialah comparison observation. Maksudnya ialah Pemerhatian perbandingan because there are two object. Uh, yang tadi only one dough. This one, kita guna situasi lain, kita guna lembu but there are two cows in this situation. We name it cow P and cow Q. Cow Q. Comel nama tu kan? Okay. How to compare? K 
Kau P is healthier than Kau Q. Ini masih lagi uh, qualitative observation because you only use your sensory. Apakah sensory yang terlibat? Yes, of course, our sight sensory. Kita tak ada pun menggunakan apa-apa alat to, identi, uh, uh, to observe. Okay, kalau yang dikatakan menggunakan instrumen, for example, we measure the height of cow, uh, measure the weight of cow P, and then we also measure the weight of cow Q. Bila kita measure the weight, kita menggunakan instrumen iaitu weighing scale, kita akan dapat dia punya bacaan. For example, cow P uh, 100 kg, cow Q 50 kg. Uh, itu barulah quantitative. Okay, next, this is also comparison observation. Tetapi yang ini ialah dia ada more than three objects. Plants X, Y and Z. So, macam mana kita nak buat statement dia? Ha, tengok ni. Plant X has the least number of leaves. Ha, tengoklah yang ni X kan? Okay, kita tengok yang ini. Okay, ataupun, okay, lagi satu cara kita boleh juga tulis. Plant Z has the most number of leaves. Ha, yang ini. Ha, tak perlulah kita nak explain tiga-tiga ni. Okey, kita ambil yang the, the ha, yang paling lah dalam bahasa Melayu ni yang paling. Contohnya yang paling, uh, itu kalau paling apa-apalah, paling besar, paling kecil, paling berat. Ini pun masih lagi kualitatif uh, ya, sebab kita tak menggunakan instrumen. Hanya menggunakan sensory sahaja. Uh, kan? Okey. Uh, kalau lebih daripada tiga, contohnya, uh, okay, dekat sekolah ada 33 orang cikgu kan? Uh, so, kamu buat observation. Uh, kita nak tengok dia punya apa ya, condition. Uh, tadi condition pun termasuk dalam parameter. So, daripada condition tu, uh, awak boleh buat pernyataan dia, statement dia. Teacher Afifah is the most beautiful teacher. Teacher in the school. Ah, tu contoh. Contoh sahaja, ya. Ah, contoh. Okay, try this. Ah, ya. Yeah. You see, there are two magnets. Tengok dia punya poles. South, north, south and north, ya. Yeah. State your observation when two magnets with different poles brought close to each other. Okay, so macam mana nampak statement dia? Siapa boleh cuba? Ada nak cuba tak? Okay, baik. Kalau dah cuba, kita tengok contoh jawapan dia. Ha, senang je. Dia ada objek dekat sini. Kemudian adalah parameter dia iaitu condition dia kan. The magnets are attracted to each other. Ini pelajaran bila ni? Ingat tak? Haa, dah lupa ke? Ini ialah pelajaran semasa kamu di tahun Haa, pandai tahun satu Okey Itu saja. Thank you. Still we meet again